Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Rita of Kasia. The parents of this saint were peasants in the Apennine mountains of Umbria, Italy, deeply devoted to our Lord's passion and affectionately called the peacemakers of Jesus Christ by their neighbors. Their daughter Margherita, an answer to their fervent prayers when they were already advanced in years, early developed a sympathetic and recollected disposition and a love for solitude. At 18, she desired to enter the Augustinian convent at Cassia, but her parents, for some obscure reason, wished her to marry a tempestuous and quarrelsome suitor, Paul Ferdinand, and she meekly accepted their wish as God's will. Rita's husband derided her piety and inflicted tremendous suffering on her by his drunken rages, but her two sons were her consolation. and accompanied her to daily mass her fervent prayers severe penances and loving visits to the poor and the sick finally touched god's heart and he granted her husband the grace of a complete conversion but a few years later he was found stabbed to death on a mountain path rita's grief in that sad hour was intensified by an anxiety over the fate of his soul and while multiplying her mortifications she strove to forgive the murderer from her heart not so however her two sons who on growing to boyhood caused her grave concern by their wayward lives and their avowal to avenge their father's death in accordance with the temper of the times no reasoning no appeals on her part were of avail and so she besought god to take them to himself rather than to permit them to commit such a crime within the year both sons were dead now age 30 rita's original desire to enter the convent reasserted itself but to her dismay she was twice refused on account of the fact that the order's rules permitted the entry only of virgins god however indicated her express wishes by a miracle when her prayerful vigil preceding the feast of the assumption was interrupted by the arrival of three patron saints at her door saints augustine john the baptist and nicholas of tolentino who conducted her to cassia and placed her at the foot of the blessed sacrament in the convent chapel and there the nuns found her at the hour of matins the untouched locks on the convent doors convinced them of the truthfulness of a simple explanation and she was accepted following her novitiate and profession saint rita continued to grow in holiness she had spent 25 years there in holy tranquility of soul when in 1442 deeply moved by the lenten preaching of saint james of the martyrs she sensed a great desire to share in Christ's agony as depicted in a fresco on the convent wall and behold a shaft of brilliant light shot from the crown of thorns to her forehead a thorn piercing her brow the wound that formed refused to heal and became putrid compelling her to spend eight long years in the isolation of a cell an ordeal she bore with exemplary patience and cheerfulness then came the jubilee year of 1450 when bernardin of siena was to be canonized and rita longed to join the sisters on their pilgrimage god showed his approval by causing the immediate healing of the offensive wound and the 69 year old nun set out on foot for the eternal city 90 miles away canonized by pope leo the 13th on the 24th of may 1900 the innumerable favors obtained through her intercession in desperate cases since her death on the 22nd of may 1547 has procured for her the title of saint of the impossible